Yeah, activity 5.2. Figure five point two three show a system of gears with the following particulars. The figure look like this. So, module of gear is equals to 1.5 millimeter motor shaft gear A. Motor shaft gear A revolves at 800 hertz per minute and is subjected to a torque of 400 newton meter. Efficiency of the gearing system is 90%. Gear wheel A has 64. Gear wheel A has 64 teeth. Gear wheel B 40. Gear wheel C 80. Gear wheel D 32 teeth. Calculate the following. The center distance x and y. They want us to find center distance x and y. Given the module 1.5. So number one, we are required to find x. If you check x, x is the center distance between gear A and gear B. And how do you calculate center distance? Which formula do you use to calculate center distance if you are given a module and number of teeth? Is it supposed to? M plus T1 plus T2. All over 2. No. It's not all over 2. It's the same, eh? Even if you can still say 1 over 2 m t1 plus t2, it's still the same. Eh? So, but in this case, we are given gear A and gear B. Can we, instead of using 1 and 2, use gear A and gear B? Yes. So, others we were saying C is equal to. C is, is a central distance. So, in this case, that central distance is represented by x. That is why we are saying x is equal to that one. So when we substitute, this one is 1.5 into TA 64 plus 40 all over 2. And what did you get? 70? 8 millimeters. Ne? Then y is still the same formula, right? It's M T what? T C plus T D over two, which is into eighty plus eighty two all over two, and what you get? Eighty four millimeters. So that was question number one. Question number two. What is it that we are expected to calculate? Rotational speed of? Of shaft carrying gear one D. Shaft carrying? Gear one D. They want the speed here. Rotational speed of shaft carrying gear one D. I agree, here is, is D. Yes. So they want the rotational speed. 
Notational speed is N, eh? yeah. it's not V, it's N. Okay, we need to calculate N here. And we're given the rotational speed for this one, right? Yes. And what's the rotational speed here? 800 rev per minute. Between gear A and gear D, which one is connected to the motor? Gear A is connected to the motor, ne? What does that mean? It's a driver. It's a driver, ne? Gear A is the driver of, the, of everything. Meaning, at A is where we have our input. And at D, we have our output. So therefore, speed input over rotation output. What will be the given gears? T D times T B T B what is B and D all over T A times T C so input speed is eight hundred right yes all over output speed is N D that one will be forty times thirty two all over sixty four times eight yes. and what you get as your NT three thousand two hundred two hundred what per okay that's per minute yes that is the speed you were supposed to get so now okay that's question that's question can I take off first first answer? Last question, one point three. What does it want? The what? The top, ne? What top for which shaft? On the shaft here with the other. At the other team, meaning the one is the one team. That's what you are saying. Yes. And they were given T A. Ish. This this is a top, ne? How can I like top so that it it, it, it it don't get confused with with number of T. T Q. I like T Q. Yes. Okay, it will be T Q. That will be top. T Q. F D. That is what they are looking at. Talk at D, then talk at A, you are given as 400 Newton meter, eh? Yes, you are given this one, and you are also given what? Efficiency. What's the efficiency? 90%. Efficiency. to the next uh, 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 reservoir. If here I have 20 liters and here at, at the end I receive 20 liters, did I have any losses here? No. I do not have any losses. Ne? So, but if I have, can, will it be possible for me to have 21 there? No. It won't be possible. Ne? Will it be possible for me to have 19 there? Yes. 19 liters? Yes. What happens to 1 liter? Yes. It's the loss, ne? It's the same, same applies with the gear. The, 
the, the motor, the motor can produce a certain power, but at the end, to the wheel, the wheel does not get the same power as produced by the, the engine. In the gearbox, there are losses. That is why some other people, they will tell you, if you use, uh, what do they call this one? They call it gamma SA, what, what, the gearbox oil. They say if you use this one, your, your, your car will perform better, meaning there's a, there will be a less loss. So in that case, efficiency, it will be output power over input power. Multiply by 100. That will be your efficient. How efficient is your motor? Checking after losing certain power in precipitation. What is it that you are left with? Output over input. So now we are given efficiency as 90 then. Efficiency, power output over power input times 100. So they say efficiency is 90. Eh? So that means there was a power loss, 10% power loss on the system due to different factors. So, <clears throat> where do we find power out? At D, eh? yes. And where do you find power in? A. At A. So, how do you calculate power? It's 2 pi N, N T, T, T over 60. Over 60 eh? Yes, over 60. You, you are saying over 60 because your speed is in ref per minute. But if it's in ref per second, you, 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 you take out the six minutes because per second means it's already been converted. This 60 is to convert from per minute to per second. You understand that one? Eh? Okay, let us do now. Let us say, for instance, our, our power, no, our not power, our speed, we are going to substitute it in ref per second. Therefore, our power, it will be 2 pi n t. t q, eh? mm. You said it's top, yes. This is the speed, that's the top. So we are given efficiency, we are given the top at input. The one, the top, at output. Can we able to find it? Can we able to find it? Okay. Okay, let us substitute. Where well, efficiency is equal to power out, it will be 2 pi n. Which n is this one? Which n? For, for which gear or for which shaft? For gear D, eh? this one it will be for gear D. Why? It's because at D is where we there is our output power, eh? where there is our load <coughs> times top. Which top? Top at D. All over two pi times. Which n? A. N a times. times? Sorry? T Q at what? At a. a times one hundred. This times hundred, you only include this times hundred if this one you substitute as ninety not zero comma. 
You understand me? Eh? Yes. If you are, if on this one you're going to substitute it as zero comma, it means the hundred must be out. That re that address to convert it to percentage. Remember, if you know efficiency. So okay now. Mathematical does this not allow me to do? It does, eh? Yes. So efficiency 90%, which will be 0, 9 is equal to ND. Do you have ND? Yes, yes. And what is the bill of ND? 3,200 eh? times. We well, are looking for this one. All over that one? 800 times 400. And then you can find your QD. Just like that. That is why yesterday I told you uh, Input over output is first to efficiency. So it seems as you will have to forget. And what you get? Sorry? 90. 90 Newton meter, eh? 90 Newton meter. So if if you are if you are told to calculate power, you know the formula for power. 2 pi n t over 60. That is how we calculate power. We did not understand that one. For me, it's easy to analyze the question first. I can erase this one. Eh? To analyze the question first before I can start solving. I write the data first before I can start solving. So because these are the gears, I analyze the question by drawing those gears and putting all the data on these gears. So we are having the ring. Ring gear, also 
with the center line. Also a pinion there. From there to there, they say it's 100. The center distance is 100. And this, what we have? Number of teeth. This one, the T here is cost to 48. And the module is equal to 4. The one T for the ring. This is a pinion, the ring gear. Pinion is the smaller gear, and the gear is the bigger gear. If you are having these two, it means this is a pinion, that's the gear. Both of them are gears, but to separate them, then the small one should be a pinion. And the bigger one for the gear. So here we have a ring gear. A ring gear, it means the pinion run inside it. So how do you calculate the number of teeth for the for the ring? Which formula do you use? Center distance, right? Center distance is equal to M into T for ring minus T for pinion, eh? all over 2. This one you subtract because it's inside. The other one we were adding because they were missing from outside, both of them. So this one, because it's the, the, the pinion is inside the subtract. So we have 100 is equal to 4 into TR minus T minus 48 all over 2. Next question. 
PCD of? PCD of the ring gear. So how do you calculate PCD? P C D is equal to M times T. I don't think you 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 fail to, to remember this formula. This formula you also use it called drafting, man. Eh? Or called drafting, you know it as A is equal to P C D over M. It's the same formula. How is this emotion? This is the number of chips. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Module is 4 times number of chips? 46. 48. Who, who, which PCD are we throwing? I'll cut it here. The ring here. It's 98. Millimeters, millimeters, millimeters. Why millimeters? Why not meters? Because the module is in millimeters. Yes, because the module is in millimeters. So, sorry? PCD of the pinion. So PCD for the pinion, and even here you must indicate that you are calculating for a ring. Unless that was a different question. For instance, okay, what I'm talking about is here is 3.2. There's no need to indicate here, then it's 3.3. .3. On 3.3, .3, PCD is equal to MT. Four times 48. Four? One nine two millimeters. So now we need to quickly run to number four. Number four. Four point one. You got 650. Who got the different answer? Sorry? Bob, you got the different answer? Yeah. You got the different answer? Okay. If there are those who got different answers, we should take it on board all together. Rotational speed of gear B and C. B and C they are connected on the same shaft, right? Yes. So what does it mean? Yes. 